Hi guys, Luton here, welcome back to City Skylines, and we are back on Whitford Peak. It's been a little while since we were down on this one, uh, but we're continuing on. Uh, lots to do, so we're going to get back into it. But obviously this is basically the first time we're back on here since the mass transit uh, update. Uh, so basically that was the reason why we had a little break there. What's with the white? Oh, that's strange. See, there are some odd little things still going on with this but um, yeah basically since the update I wanted to make sure that mass transit was working properly and it is we can see a nice train coming in right here I'm very pleased with how beautiful the railway station here looks this was another part of this build unlike uh, other stuff that we've done before I want to make this much more about I want to make this much more about sort of making each area of the town actually look really nice but we're not playing on like infinite money or anything like this um, we still have to worry about the monetary uh, you know income of the city and all the rest of it uh, I am seeing like these kind of traffic lights looking a little glitched out with the uh, view distance stuff but well, yeah it's actually seeing quite a few that's the, that's the only thing I have noticed as well uh, there's a few little odd graphical glitches but just kind of got to let that stuff go I think most of the time Right, so let's get back into this. So we were talking about, I think, expanding the city uh, or expanding the town. We've only got towns ready right now. Um, and we've got like a big residential demand. And uh, of course, we've also got the uh, interesting junction system up here, like, which is actually working really good. This was the junction system here that I just designed in to try and help traffic flow really well because I figured there was going to be a lot of traffic between the two areas here, but I didn't want to create like a big road highway i want to try and just do this with standard sort of national roads and this kind of thing if we can so we've just got national road basically running up between these two areas here and you can see look we've got the nice uh we've got crash barriers now going up on the outside i think i added this in just after the stream we've got crash barriers and you've got like the little turn signs uh running up they are like sort of telling you to be a little bit cautious because it's quite a severe turn across here Why you have a 1070 and not a 1080 Ti? Because a 1070 is absolutely fine, that's why. Don't need a 1080 Ti. 1080 Ti is good, it's just not necessary. Uh, I've added in a few little uh, extra sort of touches. So for, for example, you can see right here I've beautified some of these. So there's a few little beautification elements that I've done. Um, to actually improve the city. Uh, for example, look on the road here, I put a load of crash barriers running down through guys, so I did that. Um, I also, for example, over here, look, I put some uh, garbage and trash in. Uh, also over here, look guys, I created like a uh, industrial sort of parking lot. So there's like an industrial parking area right here with a load of stuff. So I've added in a few little bits of beautification. Um, I think I added over here at the, um, yep, so look at the garbage dump as well guys. You can see right here, like I put in this little keep clear decal. A few other things like that. Um, what else did I add in? I think there's a few little, no not in this one, but uh, oh yeah, so right here, I actually added in quite a lot of beautification around the police station, look. So you can see here, look, again, sort of destroyed road junction right here. And around the police station itself, the police station has got like all the nice leaves on the ground, and there's some nice grasses. Um, these are like some prop police cars as well to make the police station look a little bit more staffed. Uh, put these keep clear signs in on this. Uh, again, a little bit of destroyed road. Over this area here, this kind of parking line that we have going down the centre of the street, I've again got some more decals down of sort of, uh, you know, burned rubber and a bit, you see like here, see this slightly distressed road surface, again just to try and add some kind of style, and again look here on this road, see so you've got these cracked road edges and stuff just to make the town look a little bit more weathered. Um, and then what did we do? Oh yeah, so around the railway station as well, look, you can see I've added some plants and I've added some grasses and you know, nice little things like this just to try and make it again look a little bit more lived. So I've been, uh, this is what I'll do periodically I think, uh, is sort of beautify things. Also over here, so where the uh, dog park is, uh, I also again look, I've added a load of grass and some nice trees in here to try and make this kind of feel like a bit more of a tree grove. Oh okay, now one of the things I was most pleased about guys, one of the things I was most pleased about with the beautification, uh, the uh, elementary school right here. So the elementary school you can see right here, I've created like this nice parking a lot. Okay, so the little parking go, uh, sort of spaces along beside the elementary school. And then what you can see I've done is, uh, I've just added in the nice leaves here. And again across the road look sort of against the curb, got some leaves there. Um, and just some nice little bushes 
and things, more leaves just along the hedges, and then these nice little plants and dirt. Uh, and this is actually like an active car parking lot, so that will uh, work. You can see the guys actually parking up to go to the school. Uh, and I think that just adds a nice little feel. And again, we've got the, the school keep clear signs I've put in there as well. Um, so yeah, there we go. Just those bits and pieces. Labour. Guys, Suleiman subbed for two months in a row. Thank you much, Suleiman. Welcome back on board, man. Love your streams. Keep it up. Thank you very much, and I will. What is the deal with the colour difference for the roads? I knew that all of them have the same tint of colour. Um, well, I'm using, obviously, a road pack, so we're using the US road mod. Um, so some of these roads are, like, concrete, and some of them are not, so that's why. Uh, I'm also using the Cedar Valley theme, so it gives a slightly different colour, and the and I'm using the, uh, what was it, evergreen loot. Uh, so I've got a slight differentiation on that. I was JB Preschool uh, resubbed for 16 months in a row, guys. Give some big love in the chat for 16 months in a row. Thank you for the continued great quality. Thank you very much for supporting for all that time, man. Obviously, doing this full time for me, guys, so all of your support is always greatly appreciated. Um, okay, so up in the town as well, we also have got up here, we've got this, which is like the lodge, isn't it? Uh, we've got the park guard station, which is basically, it's like a, an alternative for kind of like fire station. So we've got a load of stuff going on there. Guys, tell me as well if my voice is loud enough versus the ambient noise. I hope that it is. Um, so some other stuff, we've got like the baseball field in here now as well. That's all good. Uh, and we were just talking about, oh yeah, so, oh yeah, okay. I added one other thing. I added one other thing. Remember how I said that I wanted to add a road up here? which was going to go up to, um, basically, there was like a dirt road, and I was going to maybe put like a little um, country club or something like this up on the hill. Well, again, we've got like um, a bit of a nice dirt road, and so again, I've been using uh, Decal, so we've got like this dirt road with water puddles going up and down it. Again, looks really cool, makes it look like a proper dirt road just coming off there, and we haven't got to that point with anything yet. Um, right. Okay, I'm going to need some more water before this is over, for sure. Unfortunately, it's becoming night, which is bad news, because it means I'm not going to be able to see anything, as always. Uh, right, we do need some more housing, though. And we have got more space up here. Again, you can see, look, guys, I'm trying to create these kind of, like, um, cul-de-sac streets. I wish there was a way you could actually create, like, a cul-de-sac. If you know what that is, it's like a road, which is like a residential street with, like, just one turning area at the end. I wish there was, like, a cul-de-sac road. Like, you put it down, it creates, like, a little turning area at the end of the road or something that would be really cool uh, but anyway look we're uh, residential is the thing which we need right now so let's get more residential in and uh, we need to get more people up here in the hills anyway get these people living up here um, and again as I've been saying is like sometimes with these uh, hill properties uh, I don't want to have a property on every little spot piece of land you want to kind of have some space so I think it's good to kind of put down some of these houses and then leave a little bit of space in between basically I'll we'll speed on a little bit. Uh, night sucks in Skylands. I don't know why it's... Well, look, actually, it's not so bad in this. Look, they've actually changed it up. So with this, I think it's either with this theme, uh, it's, it's a little bit better. So you can actually see, guys, look, it's not so pitch black. Because some of the times when I've been on, and it, it's been horrifically black. Uh, and you can actually see that it's, it's not quite so dark. Um, but yeah, rather than being pitch black, it's actually, this is actually normal. This is what it should look like, where it's kind of like a tinted night. I can actually see what I'm doing, which is really, really good, because often you just can't see anything at all, and it's kind of annoying. Right, houses are being built, guys, and we're getting a little bit more industrial demand alongside with that. Now, the other thing with this um, is that whilst... Um, Whilst I've not got infinite money on, I do have most of everything unlocked this time. So we can unlock loads of grid squares, uh, we can unlock all the buildings. So there's no progression in terms of buildings on this playthrough that we're doing this time around. The reason for that is because I want to be able to kind of custom build what we need to build. Interestingly, yeah, this is kind of... I'd forgotten about this. Oh, I'd also forgotten about my rule, guys. Remember my rule where I said about how... Um, my rule how I said about I wanted to build the water pipes just on roads. I just remembered that that was a thing which I said, so... Glad that I remembered. The only trouble is sometimes when you leave these spaces, you can see that um, you know, people will take up these housing slots and they don't actually fill them in. So that's where you have to get your sort of tree brush in uh, and actually start brushing in some trees and so on and so on. Oh yeah, that's an interesting point, right? Huh. Oh yeah, that's right. So I basically, I'm running also a mod, guys, which will change up the trees. So it's, uh, 
Oh, I'm back to that stupid brush problem. What do we do to get rid of that again? Uh, what did we do last time? Oh, it's I know. You click on this one. There you go. I just get that brush thing stuck on the side. I've had that issue a few times. <laughs> Looting what mods are you using? Someone will link you the mods. I'm not linking my mod packs. Honestly, I'm not gonna. So I'm not gonna list my mod packs. I'm not. Uh, so, actually, it has gotten darker, guys. Like it's gotten darker uh, as we've gone along. Uh, I'm not listing my mods. There's a lot of mods. Space too steep for water. What? Guys, Lightning Sam, welcome back for six in a row. Stan, welcome back on board, buddy. Uh, time goes by so, time goes by so fast. It does go by very fast. Welcome back, Stan. Hope you're doing very well, man. Um, so, yeah, but well, the thing I was thinking of was that um, we basically added it so that uh, the trees are replaced. So, I realised that a lot of the buildings and stuff have trees which uh, should be replaced. Now, the only one I'm seeing which is not being replaced is this one right here, which is like a an alder or something like this. It's the um, And I don't know if I want to do this on the stream because it can be destructive if it goes wrong. So it might be something I fix up later on. I think it's beach? No. Yeah, it is the older. So if I place this guy down. So it's that, it's an older. Okay. Uh, but as I say, I may change that later. But basically, where is that mod? I always forget. Uh, I think it is. One second. What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Prop it up, I think. No. Yeah. Apply global building. Yeah, so you have to press Control P. Okay, I'm not even going to touch this thing because I've had it go wrong on me several times. So, okay, so it's this. Yeah, it's prop it up. So prop it up basically allows you to replace trees with other types of trees. So it tells the game, like, hey, this kind of tree, replace it with this. But that doesn't mean that you can't place down that same kind of tree later. It just means that trees which are naturally there will be automatically replaced. Uh, and the reason I did that is because if we're in this kind of, like, valley area where there's a lot of, like, uh, pine trees and fir trees, you don't want to suddenly have loads of the really vanilla trees. So I changed it up, and it also changes uh, trees on buildings, which is why on some of these buildings right here, you can see the more native style of tree. But to be quite honest with you, I'm not uh, I'm not hating that tree that much, um, so we'll see how we go with it. If we need to change it later, we will. But uh, in terms of this area here, and actually filling this in, what we need to do is uh, we need to get onto this. We need to find our tree. which is going to be one of the uh, types here or something. By the way, I did not look at... Um, oh, no. I've made the classic LT mistake as well. So now I can just basically place in some of these kind of trees that guys just to fill in this area. I made the mistake of not seeing when I started recording, which I've done so many times. So many times. You'd think I would know by now not to do that. So if anybody has a vague inclination of when I actually started my record, how long we've actually been on the map for. That would be appreciated. Otherwise, I'm gonna to have to guesstimate that it. it was like 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna put in a few more of these little trees around this area right here. I wish this brush was a bit, oh, there we go. That's what I was after, a bit more of a smooth look to the brush. So we're basically just filling in trees around the area here, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a vibe. Uh, these ones are good as well. So this is like Scott's Pine 2. Now, whilst the brush the brush is not always the best option, I think sometimes simply just placing these in can be a much better way of doing it, especially if it's kind of around the houses, because often when you use the brush, it tries to sort of brush in around the area, and it doesn't always work. Yeah, about 15. Okay, so we'll go for 11. Um, so again, I can just kind of place some of these in here. 
And this just helps to, that's not, that's not good. What was I doing right there? That's better. Uh, and these are the really big trees. These are the much bigger ones. So we don't want to have too many of these in here. There we go. Cool. Okay. I'm getting an itchy chin today. I think it was rubbing that cat around my face earlier on. Rubbing a cat all over my face. My chin all itchy. Uh, what was he doing for the first 40 minutes? Yeah, banjo. That banjo is what we were doing today. <laughs> okay, so. Right, we've got tons of residential demand. So, I've started to build out here like these kind of little, yeah, like these little junction sort of roads. Little roads which we can build on. I'm going to put one there, one there, one there. Okay, oh yeah, and then we've got like a whole other section over this way. Now, I do want to get, like I said before, the road which is going to come all the way through here. But I also think we could do that with the, the railway. Uh, so we could get two kind of railways going on. But we're not quite there yet. But uh, I do want there to be sort of like... I, I wanted rail to be kind of a big option on this map. Uh, rather than just doing everything with roads all the time. So I think we could definitely get a railway look, guys. Actually sort of down here in this little valley bit. So if we actually go to build a road down there. Um, let's have a look. So we can just go with a standard two-lane road. Just trying to think how I want to do this. Uh, let's have... <coughs> just trying to think how I want the train to come in. So let's do that, and then let's have a curvy road which comes in. And I'm really not sure whether I like this new uh, system with the with the overlay. It can be a bit of a pain in the ass. It can be really good, but it can also be a bit of a pain in the ass. What's happening right there? It's like it didn't snap on properly. Oh, that's why. See, look, what's going on with this? Being very strange. It's because it's we've got snapping on. It's a pain in the ass. No, it's still doing it. What's going on with this? Never had these kind of problems before. Right, there we go. What was all that about? don't know. Um, what's this? Forestry is in this game, right? Yeah, you can have forestry. Most of the industries which are just in the game by default, though, can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Like, they sort of, they always seem to generate tons and tons and tons, like an unrealistic amount of, like, traffic and stuff. Like, I mean, really quite frustrating sometimes. So you, you've really got to kind of allow for that. Uh, offices tend to be the best thing, but they do generate a lot of residential traffic offices as well. Okay, there we go. Right, so we've got our little quite extreme street going down here, but uh, that's fine. It's going to be a dangerous road to get down to the railway station. Okay, now the other thing, how are we doing for money? We're doing fine for money. Uh, we need to get some of these other grid squares here unlocked because... There we go. I'm just unlocking a bigger and bigger area for us to play with. We need to get the railway basically coming up and around here. Uh, so that's what we're going to work on. Uh, I do need to throw down some more industry though, guys, because that's becoming ever more a thing. Uh, I honestly need to be aware that we were going to put the highway through this bit, so I kind of need to keep that in mind. So I'm probably going to build my industry a little bit more in this direction. Um, although we could always build off of in this way as well, but I don't think that's really necessary at this point. Uh, so let's just, uh, yeah, actually, let's just come off of here. Again, when it comes to the towns, I'm always happy to build on a kind of more... Uh, with the towns, I'm happy to build it in a more um, 
organic way like you guys know but when it comes to uh, industry I don't care at all about that I think industry even even most industry wherever it is will build in a kind of like this a sort of more grid system because that's just how industry often is well that's just like one big area to fill in yeah let's just do that I think when it comes to the power as well I think we can probably how are we doing for power we're doing good I think when it comes to power Now, the question is... When it comes to power, what we need to do here is connect in this direction. Well, there's two ways we could do this. And this probably makes the most sense. If it will let me connect over here. Uh, excuse me. I'm pretty certain you should be able to build across there. No problem at all. Should I just cheat? Oh my god. I didn't think you could do that. Um, that's ridiculous. Actually, you know what? All we need to do is this. All we need to do is put down like a substation or one of these kind of things that will be good. So that we can just put down an electricity relay station and that should. So I don't know how much space that powers up. Yeah, there we go. Just put an electricity relay station down there. And then I'll just put some, uh, well, we'll put, no, we'll put pylons still. I know I don't need to put it right next to it, but I think it looks better, so. So then now that's going to connect us up to this grid instead of us having to go all the way around it like we are right now. So let's just get rid of this. Because we need to be able to use this space properly, obviously. Also means we can... Yeah, that needs to stay as it is. Okay, that's fine. Right, back to it. Okay, so we start getting some more industry in. Damn, look at these big industry warehouses. Um, also, as we have been doing, uh, whenever we have like an industrial area, um, I will generally sort of fill in with concrete like this because it just looks better. It doesn't look right to have a big industrial area with grass. It just doesn't look right. So there we go. We'll just fill all that in. Cover these buildings in. Uh, and I do a little bit of the edging and stuff just as we go along, but on these other parts it's not quite so necessary. But again, like this area here, we'll just fill this in. These guys are freaking out because they've got no water. So let's get them some water. Okay, there we go. Right. What's that? The burner thing looks good. What burner thing? Right, we've solved our industry requirements for now anyway. Got big, big, big residential. Damn, we've got some water problems up here as well in town. Forgot about that. Space is already occupied. How? It's water. How can it be already occupied? Okay. Now, and these guys out here are also having water problems of their own. Now, we can definitely expand this town over here, Boomtown, and we probably should because Boomtown is still actually quite small. Is that just a standard four-lane road, I think? I think it is. It's medium-sized roads. Right. So we can come out to there, I think, and then we'll start sort of connecting up. I actually think also it probably wouldn't be the worst thing to have our main avenue street. Damn, oh, damn, that got dark very, very quickly. Damn, look how dark it is. Somebody was saying on uh, YouTube the other day to me, they were like, oh, you should you should not... Um, look, at the, look at the train coming in at night. It looks really cool. I do like the train coming in at night. That looks epic. Actually, let's get to our railway station, guys. Look, see the train coming in.
Yeah, somebody was saying like, oh, at, um, you shouldn't have nighttime on at all because it makes it hard to see. And it's like, no, but, you know, just because it's nighttime, you still want to have nighttime because you get to see all the lights and stuff. And it's like, it just doesn't, it just doesn't seem right to like not have nighttime on. Um, anyway, damn, look at these, these roads are getting a lot of use right now. Um, anyway, okay, so expanding residential. Now, I'm just kind of trying to wonder whether I should connect this road up here to, like, so should it kind of come through and then up? Or should it just carry on? And then I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I'll decide that later. I'm just going to expand this little bit here for now. So let's just get some more residential streets in, I guess. Not quite sure with this space already occupied. <clears throat> What's it occupied by? Nothing. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of... Uh... A lot of strange pop-ups right now. Not quite sure why. A bit weird. What's, what's wrong with that road? What's that all about? And also, where is... Yeah, here we are. So we've got bending on. Snapping is off. Yeah, it's weird. Been having that too in my city lately. Yeah, it's a curious thing. It's just strange. Look, look, see, now, now it's fine. Why is it fine now, but it wasn't fine before? What's that all about? I'm going to be annoying, guys. I'm going to do that, right? I'm going to build a road down there, and then I'm going to do a little connecting road like that. Haha, -ha, because I can. That's going to... I can't, I like adding little roads like that. Uh, let's also add some alleyways here, because we don't need... Should I be weird and do, like, a curving alleyway? It feels almost like... With, with these advanced... Like, I think I'm going to turn this thing off, because it's, it's okay, but it's also a pain in the ass, this thing. Um, yeah, I think this must be in the options, surely. It must be the road tools, so it must be in the options for sure. Uh, use day night cycle, display road names. It must be an option. Maybe not. Hmm, maybe you can't turn that off, guys. I thought you could. So not under roads. They're not like a button for turning that off in roads. I swear that there was. Anybody? Anybody know that one? I swear that was a thing you could turn off. Hmm. Well, we'll manage. We'll manage for now. I'm trying to turn off the predicting thing like this, where it's basically suggesting angles and roads and stuff like this for you. It's part of their new thing. But like, look at this one, like, it, like it's suggesting like several things on top of each other. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but it's kind of pissing me off. Like, look, when you go over these, it selects like three or four or five different things all at once. It's very confusing. Isn't that down on the left? Well, uh, you can, there's snap. Ah, see so it's confusing because you just think that, yeah, so they turned it on instead of snow, snap, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of it just being snap, they've actually put it within this now, so I'd forgotten that. So yeah, you can just fully turn that off. Well discovered, guys. Thank you. Right. Or you can, you can choose it to do something. So you could turn off like road length, angle, and you could just have like grid. So that way, yeah, see, look, so it's not going to show up so many of those things so i actually don't mind it on that it's just when it has all of them it can be a pain in the ass so i, I actually don't mind it for that it's just when there's so many it can be a huge pain
Right, now what I was actually trying to do was I was trying to get an alleyway or something going down between this. So we're just going to do that because that's where I need one at. doesn't need to be anywhere else. Okay, we've got big, big residential demands. So let's please get some residential in here because people are crying out. People want to live here. They want to live here so bad. Right, also, let's just get rid of that off of there. Okay. So we could probably actually residential up this whole area all the way down through. Let's get that going on. How is our water? Yep, yeah, we need to extend it. And I'm going to have to extend. Let's come down here like this. Okay, so that's watering on there. Now, how are we actually doing for water? We're doing very good on water. We're doing very good on electricity. We're making some money. We're not doing. I think I did put up the uh, rates and stuff. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on that. So, coming back to the railway, now that we've semi-solved, we do need to still get some more residential happening up here in town. Um, so, let's have a look at that. I think we could definitely get a residential street which just come cuts across actually like let's actually go for uh let's go for a residential street guys which kind of cut cuts around like this and then cuts back in there we go i like that okay and then we can get like a, a lane or something which comes I have a lane which cuts in there like that, and then it can also connect up like that way. Perfect. Beautiful. Hey, eh? It's a work of art. Hey, eh? How much do you love that? Do you like that road, guys? Do you like Sheffield Street? It's a beautiful work of art. This reminds me... Do you know what this reminds me of? Um, yeah, sword. This reminds me of when I used to do life drawing at university for uh, my degree. And um, yeah, it, actually, do you know what? Uh, you know how like triggered people get in Skylines? Because you, you have the builders in Skylines who love to perfect, 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 get it perfect, perfect. You know, and it's, get it so perfect. And then you have people like me. And <laughs> it reminds me. So basically, uh, when I used to do life drawing at university, I used to, um, you'd have people would have like their impossibly sharp pencils and they'd just be like just doing these little you know little things and they'd be just doing like the little hatching you know just getting it all perfect um and i used when i used to do life life drawing i used to use charcoal and then oil paint and a palette knife and i'd just be like yeah like just i'd have a palette knife and oil paint i'd just be like going like this and charcoal in in the paint um and uh so it's just so opposite now I, when you, when you'd be drawing on some days, right, some days you just get to do your own picture and that's it. But other days they used to, because life drawing is kind of creative and fun and they do this thing where like, so you draw your picture for like 20 minutes and then they rotate and you would go three or four people around the room and then you'd start drawing on that other person's piece of artwork and then you'd move around again. So by the time you came back to your piece of art, you'd often have four people work on it, the same angle or whatever, but you know, several people working on it and of course very much like this uh i used to come in and I, they'd have like their like impossibly tidy little drawing and i'd just get a piece of charcoal and be like uh, just get like <laughs> and this is kind of like that for me it's just like oh what's that a road which is not quite right bad luck you're gonna have to suck it up <laughs> that's always how it used to go Right, now we have fulfilled our residential quota, strangely. Uh, it looks like the town over here is filled up really good. But now we've got big res industrial demand suddenly. And we have got offices available, but we haven't got really like a university or anything yet. We're not quite at that stage. So we are going to have to yet again go for uh, getting some industry. And we're going to go for like the opposite in terms of I'm going to leave like a little bit of space here. Where I can put like a parking lot or something in there anyway. Thanks guys in the stream for helping each other out, that's really appreciated. Okay, so that will definitely solve our industry issues there. Yep, we've got industry coming in already. Um, so what to do next? Um, damn, we've actually got some, look at look at the roads guys. Now this is where we start seeing 
that we probably need to start thinking about getting that highway system in. Because this, as good as this road is, guys, you can see this road is now starting to back up. Uh, this junction here is not handling the traffic well enough because we've got a traffic light system right here. So we're either at the point where we need to start thinking about getting a roundabout in. And damn look, the ambulance is really, really got a major problem. Although this does work, the ambulances get up here pretty quickly. I still wish that ambulances would force their way through traffic instead of just sitting there. I think that was something which was supposed to be coming uh, in uh, Traffic Manager. I think that's supposed to be one thing that's coming in. I remember the time you spent an hour fiddling around with that messy highway interchange when you first got Move It, Luton. I remember that too. It's fine. I'm not saying that I'm not like a perfectionist. I am a perfectionist. I'm also just saying that I sometimes just don't care about like some of these things, that's all. Um, right, I need to think about that road. Although I'm thinking that that road was very busy because it was rush hour, because look, suddenly it's fine. So I think it's just rush hour. Um, also, there is another road which kind of goes up around the top here, and we haven't utilised this yet. This road right here. And I'm actually thinking that we might connect this road around up here, because that was something that we were going to do a while back. Uh, so I actually think we might do that. Let's do that, guys. So we need to get highways. Oh, don't tell me you've screwed up again. I thought I'd lost National Road again, and I was about to, like, have a blue fit, but it's okay. <laughs> Can you imagine if we lost National Road again? I would literally cry. Like, it's not fair, damn it, it's not fair. Right, so we're going to have the National Road come around. Okay, perfect. Right, there we go. Easy as you like. Um, I don't think we really even have to... Uh, that's going to get real busy, though, coming down through here. You know what? We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to overthink this one. We'll just we'll just see how that goes. It could end up being really, really good. And it will give some use for that actual junction. So that should be a nice quick way of bypassing this bit of road. Uh, so if they're going to industry or whatever, they'll still use this junction. But if not, they'll just go straight on. Got water problems down here still. Then in. Sorry, guys. Should have set you up with water earlier on. Where are my highways? Not clicking on the highways tab. I know! Just leave it. Alright, I haven't played the game for a couple of weeks. Chill out. <laughs> uh, how is everything else doing? Right, we're doing very good. Okay, so, now let's think about our railway. Um, also, let's just take a little survey of our medical stuff. Because, yeah, look. So, we need to get some medical things. And we've just got a small medical uh, in on the town here. So, we need to get another clinic up up in the other part of town up here, so that's just... I'm just putting in these kind of, like, nice residential town clinics right now. There we go. Uh, and over here as well, we're fine. We're served on that one. Uh, fire. We're actually looking pretty good on fire. Apart from the areas at the top here where we could start doing with potentially having maybe... Uh, oh, yeah. I've only got, like, a very small little local... These little local firehouses in on this part right here. So I'm just going to put another one right here. Um... Yeah, we could do with a fire watch or something up in the hills, but I don't think we're quite at that stage yet. Police. We've got no police in the industrial town, but uh, Boomtown. I'm surprised Boomtown actually is not got such good... Uh, not so... Not, spit it out. Not such a good police situation just from that one. I know it's only one rural one. I think it's because I dressed it up to look more of a police station than it actually is. Um, so we'll just get another... What's that? Oh, police box. Um... The University Police Department. Okay. Um, what's this as well? Police Headquarters. I've added in... I often add in new stuff that I'm not kind of like sure about. Um, let's add in... If we add it in anywhere, I'm going to put it right here. Or not. I'm actually going to add it in here, I think. Which side of the road are they driving on? I forget now. They're still driving on the right. Yes. Okay, so we want it then... Yeah, this way. Okay. Right, there we go. So we won't dress that one up for now, anyway. We'll just get that police station in there. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. I'm going to make a save, guys. You can see all the different versions that I tested, because that was when I was testing. I'll delete some of these out. Because that was when I was still um, testing to ensure the mods worked correctly. And I also had an issue where I kept um, having to reload because I had the tree mod going on, the prop it up. So there's a few things going that I had to test out, basically. 
Uh, okay, damn, still a big residential, uh, big industrial demand. Oh, industrial. I'm, I'm liking the space here, though, you know, like by sort of spacing out some of these things, it's working really good. Um, not sure if I want to get industry too close to the river, though. And I do need to, like, like I say, keep thinking about... There's a bit of agriculture here, and uh, I'm thinking we might be better off to start expanding across the way here now. Because, like I say... I think it's going to be more sensible for us to do that. Uh, and sort of build to this area, because if I go in the other direction, it's going to interfere with the junction. Although I stupidly have just put this right here. I think we're going to have to start work on this. I really do. Um, I think that's probably the next thing to go with. I'm actually going to have to put this in on this here. Like that. It's going to obliterate. Yeah, it's fucked. Okay. Are those things still there, though? That's the question. Yeah, so is that just fully obliterate? Uh, those don't exist. Yeah, so it's just knocked them out. Oh no, I really, I always forget about this, right? I always forget about this, that I should, I should really write down the name of some of the props that I use mainly, because it's like barrier, right? So, okay, there we are. So this is what this will be. So it's a jersey barrier. And I also need to remember what, <coughs> I've actually forgotten what the shortcut for prop and tree anarchy is. Is it control A? No, that's that. So it's shift A? No. What's the shortcut for prop tree anarchy? I've forgotten. Prop and tree anarchy. Shift P. Okay, all right. Um, so basically, you need that. So that if you're going to place something like this, that you can place it like that down the line. But you also want to put this on and uh, do options, anarchy on. And you can do the spacing ones. You can also do a fencing mode, which I think you probably use on this. Yeah, so that basically, see it goes down the line like that. And then you can still lay these in. Which is what I need to do. I'm actually not going to place them down on that bit though, uh, because what I, I, I'm thinking we're going to actually have to make quite a big change here. I'm going to delete this road out. What's the time? Okay. So we're going to have to start getting the highway in, and we're going to have to get the highway in. And the question is, how do we create a junction here? Do we just create like an off-ramp junction? Probably. But it's going to mean we're going to have some destruction, basically. Well, the other question is, do we kind of like, right, do we leave this running as is and then just bring the highway over and then connect it through? I don't know. Um, do I make another roundabout here, like a small roundabout, which connects to the highway? I think probably this is, I mean, I spent a while beautifying this little bit right here. But I'm thinking we probably need to delete that. We're not going with, yet again, an underground roundabout. We're not, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, having literally only just built this, um, I, think we'll, I think we'll address this in the next play, uh, like the next episode. But I think I definitely need to consider destroying and rebuilding this. In the meantime, we can build this area. So let's just do that. Uh, let's get some roads in. And we can really just go with some real default roads. Although actually, if I build right down the middle here, yeah, there we go. Okay, that gives us a nice amount of space uh, to build along. Okay, so let's get some industry in here. And again, I don't want to build off of this road. In fact, probably what I should do is click on this road right here and do the zoning toggle. So with this, you can basically toggle whether or not anything zones on that road, like that. So that means that basically nothing will be built on this road. Uh, so anything that's zoned will, will not be built there. Uh, so it just means that it, it flips it all onto the other side, which actually means I probably can place this road better now with that turned off. So what I'm saying is, is that I can build like this. 
and I can get closer to that road. And then what I can do is probably get like a lane going down the middle here. Please go off snapping. I'm actually just going to turn this bloody thing off, man. That's weird. It's like it's still snapping me even though snapping is off. Put anarchy on. Why is it still snapping me? I want it to be like, maybe it, it's just got to be there, I don't know. Uh, see, this is the trouble. I think we're going to be better off to extend this. Because otherwise I'm just trying to basically make it, force it to fit. And there's no point doing that. So we will just extend this a little bit. There's no point like just forcing it for the sake of it. Right, perfect. Right, okay, so then I will put, it's really important with uh, industry to make sure we've got loads of space because industry just always takes up tons of space. Uh, it just, and, and also, not just space, but like road space is what I mean, really. Uh, road infrastructure, it takes up so much road infrastructure. I'll leave these other roads on here for now, but it's just, it's really important to make sure you have enough traffic, um, enough sort of uh, support for the amount of traffic that's coming along here because industry just takes up so much space. Right, and then I'm just going to put actually like this. See, that's like one big block. So I can actually probably just do like that. It's good to kind of leave some space on these, like I've said, because it enables you to kind of be a bit more designed with how you're actually doing some of this. Uh, okay, let's go with that. Right. What doesn't look lopsided? See the amount of traffic coming out of here, guys. Look, we really need to... Whilst that's ongoing, and that's going to... Also, we need to get water over here, guys. So that's really important. We'll get water coming over here. I have to go up here. I'm sticking with my stupid rule that pipes can only go majority of the time on uh, actual roads. Okay, so they're building in. Let's uh, fill in that space with concrete on the ground. Again, just to make it look proper industry. There we go, looks better already. Right, this is looking a much more kind of industrial area right now. Yeah, look at the amount of traffic, guys. So much traffic. And it's because of this industrial area every time. Indust industry causes so much traffic, so much traffic. Uh, right, so we do need to get the highway coming along. Okay. And uh, this shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, so we just need to get just a normal highway here. And we're just going to bump this up. And then simulate back this way. And then it should just be a case for us to uh, just hook this up, really. Simple as that. Bending, please be off. And I'm going to have to have anarchy on. Right, see, that's nice and connected. And then this one here also is not going to be my friend. In fact, actually, this one could do with moving a little bit, really. Because this... Let's just delete this bit too. Okay, so this one is going to be a bit more of a pain because I need to get it about there. That's not too bad. Okay. See, one thing I am quite OCD about, though, is kinks in roads. Uh, I don't I don't like it when roads kind of do this, like, 
like, like a little angle. I like the roads to be properly smooth. That's the only thing that I get a little OCD about. I care about that more than the other crap. Okay, right, so this should work pretty well. Um, the only thing we might just do here is uh, just bend in some of these again. That they, uh, if you if you want, if you're driving on natural roads, they they always kind of blend quite seamlessly, and sometimes the roads in this game don't do that. I think that should work pretty good though. All right, so again, see, really nice and easy. We've got our highway nearly sorted already. We can leave some space here, so let's just get rid of that tree, because it's not really working for me there. We can get some concrete barrier or something going down the middle here. Uh, right, so that's the highway started off. Now we're just going to have to obviously decide next time what we're going to do right here in terms of getting that roundabout in. So this is going to come in, it's going to hit a roundabout, and then the, the highway is probably going to carry on, because we do want it to kind of sweep up the valley maybe. Uh, but we also have the rail to think about, because uh, the railway is... I think my plan for the railway is that it's going to come through here and then through this gorge and then it's going to be there's going to be like a residential one which goes here but then there's also going to be uh, an industrial one which maybe comes through a tunnel or something and then out and then around the bottom here looks like we're getting a little bit flashing up for power guys uh so we what's going on here oh yeah there's not enough power to run these sewage let's just get another wind turbine down um you know, I'd not want to put the fancy wind turbines because I was hoping that I'd be able to use some other thing for power. Uh, but I think for now we'll make do. So let's get one of these in. We get a couple of these in. Right there. I hate it when your river is like full of wind turbines. You know, like because we've done that before where you end up with like sort of 40 wind turbines just sort of in the river. And I hate that. I just think it looks rubbish. Damn, the residential demand has exploded out of nowhere. I always find that really weird when this happens. It just kind of residential just goes sky high. Uh, we need to expand our uh, scope for Boomtown a little bit right here. The area needs to expand slightly. And I'm pretty certain that uh, Museka also needs to expand quite significantly. Let's fill that in. I'll just do that kind of roughly for now. No. Okay. And yeah, Timage Ridge, as you can see, needs a lot of expanding. A lot of expanding. It has grown significantly since last time. Okay, there we go. Right, awesome. Okay, so that's our areas expanded upon. So that's where we're at right now, guys. Uh, I think it's starting to come together quite nicely. We've got uh, three distinct little communities happening. Um, and next time we'll carry on by sort of expanding the highway right there, um, getting the railway in, uh, and yeah, just progressing forward. Okay, I'll see you next time on City Skylines.